kicking it off with the small final. Ladies and gentlemen, help me count them down in three, two, one, three, four. Tell some noise! Still vodka, 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 still, yeah, vodka, 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 still vodka, 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 transporting you to the Sahara Desert. Oceans versus Frosty. Um, I heard a lot of good things about this battle. I had a few people recommend it to me. I was already planning to watch it, but I guess I just kind of prioritize it a little bit more here for today. So, yeah. First off, right off the bat, you know, we all know what Osis is, or who Osis is, rather. We all know what he's capable of doing. I feel like in this first round, he was very tamed from what I've seen him in the past. Like, you know, for all these wild card competitions where he's pretty much like going at 100%. I feel like he went at like a clean, like 25, 30% here. Nothing too crazy from him. Um, although all, all, all the uh, great stuff that we're, we know him for just at a very much more tamed level. Um, yeah, so at the start, you know, uh, I feel like these guys may be pretty close friends in real life. I'm getting that kind of vibe, um, you know, have, having fun with it. It is a small final battle. Uh, just like for third place, you know, it's nothing like too serious. Even if it was the finals, I feel like it probably would have the same vibes, probably. So, um, yeah, but next up here, we have Frosty, which, you know, Frosty, as of lately, not too, um, I guess for most people who are aware of Frosty, not too well known for his like so solo beatbox stuff, unless like you listen to Frosty prior to his loop station career, where he really like took off in like 2020. Um, I'd say like a lot of people don't realize that Frosty is definitely more prominent in the solo beatbox scene than he was in the um, the loop station scene, like before he became like the GBB online champion and really dwelled into the loop station stuff. Um, I personally never really followed Frosty too much in the solo category, so I don't really know what to expect because I think like the last time I heard him solo beatbox was years ago, honestly. Um, also, he had the team Kacha with uh, D'Lo, so... Um, yeah, it's really hard for me to say what to uh, what I should expect from Frosty here, but yeah, um, let's see what he came in with. Into Frosty, counting down in three. You're just stuck in your own mind, mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're just stuck in your own mind. Stuck in your own mind. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Transform into space. 
So we got Frosty here. Um, so yeah, after the first round of Osis, it kind of felt like the vibes would probably go this direction. I didn't think he'd lean this hard into it. Like the, just like, you know, the trolley and um, the comedic kind of factor of, of the battle itself. Um, so yeah, they just kind of like went up here and decided, you know, collectively probably ahead of time to just kind of like go out there and have fun maybe it just kind of transpired to this after osis this round like maybe Vrossi didn't intentionally try to do that or had the idea to initially go up here and do something like that but um maybe he just got you know in that kind of in that kind of mood after he saw osis this round and just kind of went up there and <laughs> and uh, gave us that absolute technical masterpiece that we just heard so um yeah <laughs> funny stuff from frosty um yeah, nothing really much else to say from that. Very unique battle. Never seen anything like this before, guys. So, yeah. Uh, it's funny. They're just up there having fun. So, uh, let's see what Osis came in with. Countdown Osis in three, two, one. That's it. like oh, this kind of like uh took a little bit more seriously there trying changing up the vibe of the overall battle you know but still at the end of the day having a little bit of fun with it you know allowing frosty to come in there with a little bit of his own stuff in his own ram which is like you know if the battle was actually like taken like very seriously at a competitive level that would never ever happen obviously so yeah so so up there having some fun with it not too serious that's like osis at like 50 percent there i think still not like full prime osis you know what i mean so um yeah, let's see what Frosty came in with the second round. Round count in Frosty in three. No. No.
Nation. So we got Frosty's final round there, just carrying over from what he did in the first round. It was being an absolute troll up there. But at the very, very end, you know, it's just giving us a little sneak peek at what he's actually um, capable of in the solo beatbox realm. So, yeah. Didn't expect the, the battle to uh, turn out that way, you know. Um, saw these two guys, you know, just figured, heard some good things about it. Never really heard any, like, details of what actually happened in the battle. Figured maybe it was, oh, this is a really super competitive battle. Um, but it turned out it was, like, you know in this kind of realm of vibe, you know what I mean? So I'm damn for it. I'm here for it. You don't usually see this stuff like barely ever. So it's nice to see two guys up there, you know, who are potentially like, you know, close friends. Don't really know these guys personally. Don't know that, but going up there, having fun, not really taking it too seriously. And yeah, uh, just really enjoying themselves. And hopefully the crowd vibe to that. That was pretty entertaining from like a viewer perspective on a, on a video uh, on YouTube. Um, probably would have been like a lot better to watch that in person, you know? Just kind of like feel the vibe and like what led to it and everything else beforehand, you know what I mean? So, yeah, nothing really much else to say about that one, guys. Uh, what you see is what you get with that kind of stuff. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed what you heard here, go check out NUE23, their YouTube uh, YouTube channel, this entire competition. Um, I watched a few of this stuff uh, off camera. Um, not sure if I'll watch anything else. Maybe I'll watch the loop finals on, on video at some point in the future. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, if you want to support me, though, leave a like on this video, sub to my channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next Beatbox Reaction video.